Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah Kerwin, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Brunchway. And today I'm joined with Robert Hammer from Ron Marhofer Auto Family out of Ohio. Rob, Rob, how are you doing today? I'm doing very good. How about yourself? I'm doing well, thank you. So Ron Marhofer Auto Family is one of our top shops here at Brunchway and consistently one of the top viewed top shops um, every month. So I'm really excited to have Rob here to talk with us today about schools and students. So before we jump in, do you want to just tell us a little bit about Ron Marhofer Auto Family? Absolutely. So we are a family-owned business, um, been in the uh, industry for over 100 years in the same family since 1919. Started as a uh, horse and buggy repair shop back in the early 1900s and turned into a one of the first Chevy dealerships in the country. Um, and that it being the first Chevy dealership with both sales and service. And we've stayed in the same family growing ever since. We now operate uh, six different dealerships. We have multiple brands, both import and domestic, as well as uh, two collision centers, recon center. And right now we're gonna be expanding with our latest acquisitions and growth up to over 140 bays uh, within the organization. So. You know, we're a fixture in our community and plan to be for quite some time. That's pretty amazing. How awesome that you guys are just over that 100-year mark. That is quite the accomplishment. Absolutely. We're, we're very proud of that. And, you know, we have a, one of the things we're most proud of is we've got some of the lowest turnover in the industry. Uh, we averaged uh, last year about 30% less than our industry. Wow. So we're able to keep a lot of people. We've got a lot of second, third generation employees here, employees that have been with us for 30, 40 years. And I get the pleasure of putting on the parties for the people when they hit their 20 year, 30 year, 40 year anniversary. And it's starting to hit the point where just about every month we're having one of those celebrations with somebody. So that's a great feeling to, you know, have these texts that are, you know, in, in the shops and then they're, you know, bringing their family members in to see the shops and, now that we're starting to hire their kids and their grandkids into oh the my gosh. shop. So it's a great feeling to really see that growing over time. That's amazing. You hear a lot about, you know, technician recruiting, um, but technician recruitment or uh, re retention, if you're doing that right, the recruiting is a little bit less of an issue. So that's awesome. It sounds like you guys are treating your techs right and they're staying there and that's great. Yep. That's something we're very proud of. Awesome. All right. So tell me a little bit about how you guys work with schools and students in your area. So one of the things that we really like to do is to partner early on with a lot of the schools. We've got some really great trade schools in our area, both from a high school as well as a university level standpoint and a tech school standpoint. So we try to partner with them early on from the high school age. So we really start with uh, sponsoring technician candidates and stuff from the time they really start their junior year of high school. So we'll work with um, some of the shops and some of the shop teachers and the different um, advisors and stuff to identify people who have really good opportunity and potential and really try to find out what it is that they need. So we'll sponsor them with uniforms, we'll sponsor them with having uh, techs come in who are in schools to do shadowing. So some of the schools we've set up shadows with over their breaks and stuff, the students will actually come in and work in our shops um, just to see what it's like to work side by side with the techs, see what the industry is like. And that's kind of how we get them into the program at the early ages of their career. As we get into more of the trade schools, we get more into the university levels, our sponsorship then goes to, we have uh, tool sponsorship programs as well as an apprenticeship program. So they get to come in and work with us either full or part-time while they're in school, depending on what their school is covered on. It's a paid internship, so they get paid to work side by side with our technicians. We have them assigned to master technicians who get paid as well for sponsoring and teaching and training so they get excited about it as well. We've even got one of our master techs has been taken on by one of the schools as a professor so he actually teaches evening classes so he helps us recruit as well by talking about us and we try to stay up to date on what are the needs in the industry. So we like to talk to what the advisors are and what 
the shop professors are and identify what is it that they need, what different skills they are. One of the collision shops that we work with, we partnered them up with our paint supplier so that our paint supplier was then able to go in and get their school partnership going with them as well. So now they're supplying paints and materials and different items. So not only are they learning in school, but they're also learning with the stuff that we use uh, real time in the field. So just hired an apprentice this morning for a collision shot. And while he's go gonna be going to school there, he's gonna be using the same things that we're using in our actual shop, the same chemicals, the same sprayers, the same tools, because those are provided uh, by the same company. So it helps us to help develop them and their skills utilizing the things that we have. That's amazing. It's almost like you guys have helped create a community between, you know, the schools and the different partners and you guys, and you're all working together to help, you know, improve the industry and improve this experience for these students so that they have successful careers as a technician. So that's really awesome to hear. Absolutely. It's part of being a long-term strategy for all of us to be successful. So they need to be able to get students being successful or else they're not able to stay in business as a school, we need technicians and all of those type of, from advisors to technicians to shop managers to continue to grow our business and technicians need somebody to really help them out. And that's one of the things, it's one of those cliche kind of things in the industry is, well, you can't get hired without experience and how do you get experience until you yes. get hired in the first place. So we're trying to bridge that gap so that we can provide them with the experience level and if we do a good enough job, then they stay with us. And I think our numbers and our retention rates show that we're doing those particular things, so. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and you guys, as part of your Top Shop membership, are using Red Choice School Connect, right? That is correct. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about that? The, yep, no, sorry to cut you off there. We actually have the opportunity to have reached out to other schools in other communities as well beyond just our local schools um, through the Wrenchway Connect. So what we found is we actually have technicians and technician candidates who may have originally been from this area or have family members in this area, but for whatever reason they're in Wisconsin or they're in Michigan and they're going to school or working up there. We've been able to connect with people up there as well so that we can start building established uh, dialogue with some of these people. So when they come back home or when they come back to this area for top of mind for somebody that they might want to consider for a career. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, so what's your advice for shops that want to get more involved with schools and students in the area, but they kind of don't know how to get started? What's your best advice for how they can kind of start to reach out? Who do they reach out to and how? Well, I think most shops do very similar to what we were doing at first, which is probably the wrong way of doing it and utilizing the schools as a feeder program to hire techs. Yes. So we were reaching out to schools and stuff and saying, okay, who do you got that's ready to graduate and who needs a job? And at that point in time, most of them already knew where they wanted to go, knew what they were going to do. And we weren't really getting a lot of success that way. So through you know talking to different people with the different schools and then with the Wrenchway Connect that helped us start connecting to people and it all just started to grow. We started reaching out and instead of saying, what can you do for us? Going the opposite direction and saying, what do you need to be successful? So we would reach out and ask simple questions on what are you looking for that would help you be more successful in developing technicians for our industry? So some of the schools came back and said, well, we need uniforms. So we would provide them with inexpensive t-shirts with our company logo on it that they can wear and get grease and oil and dirt all over. And, you know, they're not buying their own uniforms and it saves their expenses. And at the same point in time, they're advertising for us in the shop. So it keeps our name recognition out there with these technician candidates. Other ones we've reached out and found out that a lot of times there is a issue with tools. One of the things that we found is some of the larger companies tend to prey on young technicians and get them in debt very early on. So we found that, you know, rather than have technicians coming out with $10,000 worth of debt and tools that, you know, they're at an entry level position, we started looking at, okay, well, 
why don't we provide them with a toolbox and the tools that they'll need for their first two years in our industry. And then they can su just supplement that with what they need. And then when they come on board with us, we basically just treat it as a part of the apprenticeship program that you work six months with us and the tools are yours. If you choose to move on, we hope that you'd like it here and want to stay. But if you move on, they're your tools. They move on with you and wow. but you're growing. But we started doing that as a particular sponsorship. The other thing is we started looking at how do we do um, internships and give people the opportunity to work because what a lot of technicians we we're finding out in the schools they would go to school 20 to 30 hours a week they couldn't afford to go to school without a job but they couldn't get a job with you know the work with their school schedule yes. so ideally we worked out situations where we were finding that a lot of the schools are doing classes at the times that we're closed so we had a perfect opportunity to have, you know, students coming in and working with us so that we're able to provide them with a paycheck, work experience, hands-on things. They could then take their experiences that they've had here in the shop, and when they go back to their classes and are discussing it in their classes, they have real-world experience that they can talk to and get questions and ideas answered, which has then helped us back in the shops because now they're bringing back new ideas and new thoughts and new technologies that we may not have even known existed. So that allows us to continue that two-way dialogue. So those are the things that we've really approached from a standpoint of a win-win and more of a partnership as opposed to just a, another type of recruiter. That's great. I think you guys are doing such a fantastic job at creating those partnerships. And honestly, it's pretty inspirational to hear. Like, I think a lot of shops will give value out of learning what you guys are doing and hopefully that they can implement it in their shops as well. So, well, I appreciate your time today, Rob. Um, I, I just can't thank you enough. I think you guys are just great and I love what you're doing over there. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you today and we look forward to having a great partnership with you in the future. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.